Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kina and today's reading is messages from your body. I'm filming this during Aries season. Aries rules the head and the vessel, the body, the skin. Therefore, I think this is a very appropriate reading to do during this time. And yeah, so let's see what they have to say to you. Get some clarifications there. We got three piles for you to choose from today. Pile number one being the Queen of Swords. Pile number two being five of coins. And pile number three being the world. So how this works is that I'm going to give you five seconds to really connect in with your intuition and see which pile or piles you're drawn to. Then you can head down to the description box below and jump straight ahead to your reading. All right, beautifuls, I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Hello, pawn number one. Okay, let's get into it. When I tapped into your energy in this card, it was signaling to me that your body is wanting you to turn into the chapter of being a little bit more restrictive, being a little bit more strict, more disciplined with what you consume. And when I say consume, I don't just mean food or on a physical note, but also on what you watch in TV, Netflix shows, series, maybe gaming, if you ever entertain gaming, keeping a close guard on that, social media, putting a time cap on how long you're gonna scroll, etc. But also the consumption of other people's energy, hanging around a certain group of friends, what is their vibration what is their energy calibration things to be considered i do feel that as i talk about this i'm feeling a heavier sensation around my stomach wanting to contract almost like you know when you're in the gym and you're tensing that muscle over there so that you are concentrating your energy there and creating beautiful abs <laughs> um but it's more of this like you right now your body is calling you to really restore keep protect and be extremely discerning i'm being drawn to the word black diamond over here i do believe that this deck that i'm using talks a lot about different crystals pair with the major arcanas pair with any suit of the deck and we know that diamonds are made under pressure so if you have been called right now or your body is calling you to be a bit more stern strict with your time schedule but also with the food or the way you consume your food your mindfulness with your food listen to that because it will be an extremely healing act and center you back into the present moment i'm seeing with the diamond over here that you guys have an aspiration to become this more evolved version of you healthier you perfect health perfect harmony only love and the energies of unconditional love retaining in your mind body and soul so this is part of the journey in getting to that place is first to strip back to minus before we add right so subtract before we add Okay, so let's throw you some astrodice to see what other messages your body has for you. We got the eighth house. I believe this is Neptune. I keep forgetting, guys. I'm so sorry. And we got Scorpio doubling down on this energy. Yeah, your body is getting extremely intuitive right now. And Eight House and Scorpio talked a lot about transformation, rebirth, shedding of the skin, phoenix rising, coming out of the ashes, um, being reborn, renew, um, energy calibration, DNA upgrades, etc. That's why I'm also getting in combination to this. I see that you could be feeling very sucked into the darkness not gonna lie like you could be having 
psychedelic dreams you could be having spontaneous like lucid dreaming incidences or at least waking up in the day feeling like you even didn't have enough rest even though it's been what eight hours 10 hours plus doesn't matter you don't feel recharged yet also maybe there is some very emotionally charged dreams that leave you feeling like oh this is so real oh I, i'm kind of hung upon the reality of my mind right and unable to be present in the day so the body is asking you now because you are so much in this i see like headspace crown chakra and above we need to ground we need to go back to our roots this could be sitting in meditation focusing your energy on your root your sacral your solar plexus doing a body scan okay so focusing on the head feeling the forehead feeling the separation the physical element of your forehead against air against negative space your nose your eyes your lips really feeling into the structure of your skeletal body your physicalness is gonna help you ground down another method is that if you have grass near you mud sand nature take your bare foot and walk in that ground that's a confirmation over there with my phone beeping but there is so much energetic shifts happening for you and so it's calling you to become like this mama bear and just protect reserve reserve your beautiful divine feminine energy that is about to rebirth be reborn i feel like your body right now knows that maybe a month ahead or two months ahead three months ahead six months ahead there will be a lot of movement networking momentum new experiences so we need you now to hibernate and recharge Woo, okay, let's pull you some tarot cards to see what else we can get for you. Messages for pile number one's body, please. Other messages for pile number one's body, please. I feel like even with the subtracting act, you guys could be simplifying your skincare. You guys could be simplifying your wardrobe, doing a spring clean, simplifying your morning routine, or maybe also implementing a night routine. But it's not too extravagant. There... I feel like you guys are stripping yourself to the bare bones of what truly matters and sticking to that that will be helping you out a lot it's also creating this energies of ease and relaxation so that you don't have to uphold yourself to a specific standard and making you feel like it is a must rather than it is a i get to experience so yeah, stripping away a lot of maybe um, ideologies from the past of like needing to have a 10-step Korean skincare. That's just an example, routine in the morning. But rather, you know what? I'm just gonna strip it to the bare bones, apply my moisturizer, apply my sunscreen, I'm good to go. We got the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys are getting into the momentum or your body's trying to get you into the momentum of sustaining a specific routine because you're trying to grow and build, um, I don't know, like an empire of yours. I heard family, I'm seeing a family. So it's like, okay, let me get back and tap back into my values. You could be getting a lot of hints and nods even from the conversation with your friends um alluding to the fact that hey because we have a temporary experience here i need to segregate my time and prioritize what matters quality of relationship it seems like your body your mind is flashing you some aspects to even heal the disharmony 
with people from the past this harmony with family members because you know at the end of the day all you want to retain is love love in the mind body and soul so you're purposely quantum leaping to a reality where there is a lot of harmony in your family because you know at the end of the day you guys truly love each other it's just a bit of distortion there conditioning there or you know not understanding each other um communication styles that combat each other that cause a lot of these maybe traumas to take place but you know what's important your body's revealing to you what's important and your body is confirming now that actually you really have the power you know to grow beautiful connections um ho opono pono is coming to mind so just a little bit of explanation on that is this i would uh, i don't know what to call him but let's just say this doctor came into a psychiatric ward and just with the power of his mind blessing the um, quote-unquote sick people in that ward and seeing them with perfect health change their reality over the course of three to four years without even needing to be in contact with them without even needing to interview them without anything other than his own perception of them and I feel like, yeah, your body is strong enough to use the mental power and the mental facilities to use visualization and imaging your imaging faculty to your advantage. You know what's true, what's right. Your body is, your body is, yeah, conserving your energy in the physical world, minimizing that so that you can use more of that to your mental power. We got the two of pentacles over here. I also see you guys simplifying like your interest. I feel like you guys could be quite creative over here with the 8th house and Scorpio death and rebirth always happens for you. Experimentation exists. You guys might be the type to be more drawn to discovering the unknown, loving, change, etc. As majority of humans don't love change, you know, like to stick to the habits routine like safety and depend on that. You guys can move differently however your body is calling you now to really just hone in on maybe one or two things i mean i'm here like 1.5 okay so one primary one a secondary one on the side a side hustle could be a thing but pour all your energy into that because you are done experimenting you're done with that experimental phase your experimental phase is by mental power but when it comes to the physical world with the pentacles it's um simplifying that let me pull you one more card we got the devil Ooh, i feel like your body's also calling you to quit certain foods i'm also seeing that cutting off certain connections like it could be like a finalization of cutting off certain connections i'm not seeing like romantic necessarily but just on a general note people who just doesn't resonate anymore people who encourage you to act out of order you do not want that in your space your body do not want that in your space i'm also getting oh as i tap into this card i'm like itching myself so if you guys go into certain environments and you find that there are some like nudges from your body of course like itchiness of the skin or like a disruption in the stomach uneasiness in your stomach that's your body communicating to you that these people are energetically misaligned and it's best to you know take yourself out of that environment i feel like your body is asking you to curate an environment that doesn't take doesn't encourage these lower addictive tendencies but rather bring out your priorities one more please messages from your body thank you we got the two of oh sorry the page of wands <laughs> the page of wands yeah, because right now you're being redirected to come back to your almost like childlike nature and spark 
some intuitive downloads i feel like this month ahead whenever you're watching this reading pile number one you're gonna be receiving so many intuitive creative downloads from the universe because they want to co-create something into this plane with you it's a manifestation that you've asked for so it's it's important to create space for that to come in i'm hearing automatic writing is very important okay automatic writing um I'm seeing like 3 a.m. and my mind spirit is showing me like waking up and spontaneously in the middle of the night. So your body could wake you up during these times, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. If that's the case, do not go back to sleep. Um, actually take out a pen and paper. That would be very helpful and ask the necessary questions that you've been uh, wanting to seek answers for a long time. That's where spirit, the veil between the physical and metaphysical gets particularly thin. And so you can receive these downloads instantly, spontaneously, even ground yourself whilst doing so. So get sit upright on your bed with your feet planted on the ground. Yeah ask them anything they're here to answer obviously you can do that in the middle of the day however yeah if you do feel the pull or your body is pulling you to wake up in the middle of the night this is definitely why okay see how we can connect to our bodies even more with these cards so how can pile number one connect to their body even more listen to the body even more thank you we got confidence. Ooh, just have confidence with your intuition, with your gut, with your physiology. I'm seeing that sometimes you might pie off certain messages from your body. Saying, for example, if you're sitting in the middle of the room with a bunch of people and you get like a stomach ache, you're like, hmm, maybe it's the food I ate. But they want you to get in the present moment when you do feel these little nudges these little incidences nothing is coincidental so it's kind of like you know when you receive a angel number numerology you're walking down the streets and you're thinking a certain thought you're feeling a certain way and you see two 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 in that moment it's the message linking with your thoughts in that moment it's a message linking with how you feel take that method that formula and apply it to your body because yeah have confidence with the intuitive nudges you get i heard body orientated so you guys could be the types that lean towards um physical health wellness and all of that so again spirit wants to communicate with you through the path of least resistance, the easiest way to go about it. So if the easiest way to go about it is through, you know, pains in certain areas, getting skin rashes, that's how they're going to show you. That's how they're going to show up. One more, please. You got intuition oh my god didn't i say you have a really strong intuition trust it have confidence in it this is just the doubling down on that message i'm saying that also you guys are going undergoing another awakening okay or like an unfolding process towards your intuitive gifts which is again why uh, spirit is making you protect your energy so much i feel like also if you're being called if you're the types to shower and then like listen to music drown yourself in music whilst you're taking a bath or drown yourself in music whilst you brush your teeth etc um i'm hearing a word like full 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 like energetically full you could be drawn to not do that anymore so listen to your body again take a shower be mindful talk to the water set your intentions um have a quieter space because that quiet space will give you again these downloads will come through so effortlessly as i say downloads i'm seeing this river fall this river flow this is a time period where you are extremely 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 open for the channeling from the divine to just show you your next couple of steps moving ahead moving forward let's pull you some let's pull you one extra message to end this reading off right here from your body what does your body have to say what does pawn number one's body have to say to them Oh, so many fell out. So let's just take one. One message, please. Your body, thank you. We got 
present. Ah, didn't I keep saying like, stay in the present moment. Any actions that gear you towards the now is so, so, so important right now. A journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future, yeah. Grounding of the mind. Stripping away any distracting social medias. Stripping away the music that you could be listening to on a daily basis. Hearing the white noise, hearing ambient sounds. I do hear that um, from spirit, why you feel so energetically full. You could be eating less too and needing to strip away the noise is because you guys have done a lot of, I think, internal healing when it comes to childhood connections. So the space is allowing for that energy to release and exit. Maybe it's a space for you to even emotionally cry it all out, uh, emotionally scream it all out. Something, something is telling me that your body wants to release, 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 and then reconnect. Release, 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 then reconnect to a new you. With that being said, pile number one, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. I'm sending you so much love, love, love. Have a beautiful, blessed day, year, and life. Comment down below where you're tuning in from. Of course, subscribe if you like my vibe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number twos. Let's get into it. As I tapped into your energy, it was very interesting because spirit was dividing the constant reoccurring i would say um conditioned thoughts in your mind versus how your body actually feels and how it actually moves you might feel almost disconnected from them and you're learning how to sail the boat in the same direction harmonious direction as your body when i say that i felt a pressure around my stomach so this could be a confirmation or I'm hearing gut healing, that's another thing that's coming through. Okay, before we expand into that, I want to just continue on with that narrative of you are not your mind, you are not your thoughts, okay? That's one thing to, to come into understanding is that the intuitive body, the physical body, and the pull of the heart center is God consciousness in this physical vessel those running thoughts that stem into the idea of fear is a conditioned mind so but, but the thing is even when i explain this i do feel like you understand it or you intellectually get this you get it so i feel like the next step moving forward is literally just to not really i heard the word combat but when a certain fear a thought um a conditioned thought pops up it's to speak yourself back into the intuitive flow and having faith having faith in your body i, I i'm seeing this like one step next step one step next step and you're doing it really beautifully so let me just your body wants to congratulate you with the fact that you can segregate and understand and apply everything that they're giving you and that this reading alone isn't really going it's so interesting this reading alone ain't really going to bring you new knowledge of what you already know but rather reconfirm that you are really walking the right path Okay, number two, let's get into the gut healing one that is coming up. I'm seeing certain like nutrition elements popping up in my head. Um, okay, so there's a seek. Spirit wants me to talk about this or at least I'm very much on that health path. <laughs> path. So your body wants, to, wants me to give you some of what I practice. And before we even try to change a way of eating eating right for a temple 
There's one thing we also got to get clear, which is cleaning the pipes, aka cleaning the intestinal system, cleaning the stomach. Imagine just like the drainage system. If there are still a lot of junk and gunk, but you are still pouring beautiful, harmonious water down that drain, it's still going to be tainted with the residue of what is around that pipe. So you guys have been curating a very beautiful diet for yourself and Spirit is just like, yes, we are loving the good food. To add to this is to implement certain nutritional stuff that helps clear that system. It's like the unblocker. It's like the bleach, you know? It's like the bleach so that all that gunk and junk can be washed out. And as you pour that beautiful, harmonious, clean water down the drains, it's not going to be affected anymore. Psyllium husk is one thing that's coming to mind. So search up organic psyllium husk take one teaspoon mix it up with water until it becomes this jelly like texture it congeals you know and then have that first thing in the morning with nothing else it's basically pure fiber so that it can unclog it's the bleaching for the system to be cleared give it at least 30 minutes and then you're good to go eat whatever you want to eat and implement that that's one thing that's coming through if you guys want a little bit more um, nutritional stuff uh, comment down below and I will let you know let you in on it okay let's worry some astrodice to see what other messages we get from your body so yeah I'm just hearing like good job you're on your way you know your good job on your way you're intuitive you're following the nudges green light we got cancer we got the eighth house and I believe this is Pluto let me check okay perfect what well, i'm seeing over here this time period your body is revealing to you a lot of nostalgias of the past um links from the past memories painful memories from the past i'm seeing a spiral in my head so i feel that you guys have purposely done a lot of work in healing connections wounds traumas of the past and it's almost confusing that this is rocking up right now again. For example, if you guys had a somewhat toxic association with a long lost friend, you guys have done cord cutting, meditated, send good vibes, good love energy to them, and you thought you were freed. However, right now, as you're on this reading, they're rocking back up and you're feeling triggered again. Eighth house, also symbolism of death. It's like this is the final straw it's not that you guys haven't healed it's not that you guys are still hung it's not that you guys are energetically still in victim mode but rather again cleansing of the system like the gut that we're talking about it's just extra bleach to get the residues out so when the residues are coming out it could feel quite intense it could feel quite dirty but actually no it's just it's just the last bit of it with pluto over here massive change and transformations wow um i'm just seeing that you guys are literally already shifted into a new paradigm i don't want to say like oh you guys are moving into a new timeline you guys are already in a new timeline which is why like oh the things that don't serve are exiting out it's the final straw it's the final straw maybe that's also in reflection to why you are so drawn to cleansing your gut on a physical note because as within so without and me suggesting you psyllium husk as a implementation a nutritional implementation thing um it's going to help with that mental process too i'm seeing like in dream world you could be also like i feel like you guys normally get really psychedelic type of dreams you know visiting all different alien type species um things that you don't see in this earth however recently it's just been kind of mundane it's like oh throw back to high school oh throw back to my work environment oh throw back to my family house and it's like 
nothing spectacular, nothing quite mysterious, adventurous, just mundane, like an everyday encounter could exist right now, could be real. This is a symbolism of just you reconfiguring your associations with past connections. Beautiful. Let's pull you some cards to see what else your body has for you. I'm also seeing like if you get like inflamed rock up of pimple here and there. Again, it's just clearance. It's just clearance, okay? You have done the work, guys. It's like, ah, oh, if it's coming back, like why is it coming back? It's not, it's not. It's like the final straw. They want me to hammer that down. Thank you. We got the four of wands. Oh my God, cute. Ah, your body is also signifying that you guys are going to be experience a new, experiencing a new paradigm of yourself with your open heart chakra and your open space. I feel like you guys are gonna get extremely generous or your body's prepping yourself to love the idea of giving. Maybe like you understand again on a universal law, give then receive, right? Give and you'll uh, receive tenfolds back of what you give out. It's reciprocated, it's karma, it's, it's cause and effect. However, yeah, again, the conditionings of past might have re like held you back on that note. And sometimes when you give, it doesn't really feel good. There's a bit of tension. Like you logically know that, okay, if I give with pure intentions that um, it's gonna make me feel good. Yes, it does feel good. But in the midst of giving, you're like, uh, 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 I, gotta, I gotta grasp it back. That's exiting out now. Okay, so again, an up leveling of your associations with um, giving and unconditional love felt on a deepened level, on a deepened level, a level that you've been asking for. Now it's coming in beautiful. We got the 10 of cups in reverse. Ooh, girl, like girl boy i am so sorry oh i'm not even sorry what am i saying yeah i feel like you guys are gonna be going back and forth with again tackling the <laughs> conditioned thoughts versus reality of how you genuinely feel you know how i said i've corrected myself yeah i feel like there's a lot of mental energies of you correcting yourself so that you're aligned with positivity your body right now has a lot of that power and command to do so ten of cups in reverse you are going to be able to live out that beautiful quality connection life if you guys have been seeking to heal a wound when it comes to children, pets, younger people, that's coming through too. You might, in the past, feel indifferent to starting a family. I think your body's prepping you to fall in love with the fact that you can give birth or you can experience, you know, a lifetime to give more towards younger children. They're not gonna feel so alien anymore. And I feel like you could be drawn to wearing softer color palettes, upgrading your wardrobe, follow those intuitive nudges because let's just say if you drop a dime on a coat that feels luxurious and new and it bypasses the actual monetary value and it gives you that extra sauce feeling get that okay enjoy it because that new feeling is going to perpetuate a reality that you desire a more lavish one a more harmonious loving one i do feel that some of you guys could also be in distance with your family you know long distance relationships your body is alluding me to to the idea that you guys are gonna come closer than ever. You're manifesting a reality where there is not really a distance like that anymore. It could have been like a karmic family pattern 
where the love of your life, the people that you cherish the most, there's always a distance, a segregation, a separation. No matter what, you all are scattered all over the globe. And what you truly want is to be in the same space and to be in the same place. To have a lavish lifestyle to provide so that all of you guys can come into union physically. That is definitely something that is in the books for you, okay? It's destined. So hold on to that vision. The vision is coming alive. You don't need to know how to get there. You just need to know that you're going to get there. We got the seven of wands upright. Your body also might want you to take up more hit classes. So if you guys have been doing a lot of exercise such as, for example, switching it up from long distance running to sprinting, there's something to do with that energy which represents speeding up manifestation that's really strongly coming through. Or for example, if you guys have been weight training, lifting heavy, and spending maybe like one and a half hours in the gym, there's a pull towards, okay, only spending 45 minutes um, lightening the weights, but increasing the reps. I don't know, cardiovascular activity. Um, something to do with changing up your routine so that it is more potent in the moment but also takes less time is coming through listen to that if your body truly desires that try it out because that also plays a huge role when it comes to your mind the way you perceive the world also thought to execution maybe you guys again are trying to bring in a certain job a certain career at a quickened rate and so for one of the ways to quicken that rate is to think a thought and sorry i got cut off there but to think a thought and to execute it straight away i feel like you guys are ready to you know put in that masculine grind um to channel more of that yang force now since you've already done that internal work and yeah get that momentum going we got the lovers in reverse. For those who are in relationships, your body is right now revealing to you that this connection is here to stay. Okay, it's not going anywhere. It's not moving. And for those who are single, and if your body is giving you that feeling of like, there's someone there and I know for a fact I'm fated for a beautiful, harmonious um, connection. And you're almost tired out from rejecting those who do not fit the frame. Have faith that this person is near. And I just feel like they're very much energetically close. Okay. You're right. You intuitively know that you're going to be in a power couple situation as you heal as you reframe your mind you shift you move mountains you're gonna get everything that you want okay wow let's see how you can connect to your body even more during this time period how can my pile number two connect to their body even more? I'm getting like goosebumps all over my legs or like a tingly sensation with my legs. So it's just like, ah, I'm ready to move. I'm ready to go. Like I'm so done with my insecure self. That's something that's coming through. We've got creativity. Yeah. Ooh. Like I said, waking up in the middle of the night spontaneously, channeled creative downloads from the universe. You guys are truly co-creating something big here. Okay, so just so just let these creativity come through. Um, have a journal. Yeah, and you're going through a second awakening with the consciousness card coming through. 
you're gonna perceive yourself as so much more loving than you've ever seen before you're gonna it's it's giving dr joe dispenza you know he always talks about how he's like expanding like, even his research he could not believe on a mental level that it really is shifting worlds some people will be healing their thyroid some people will be growing their new thyroids he's just like okay okay i know the mind is powerful but i could not believe it even though the results are showing in front of my face that this person who used to not have a thyroid because they were surgically removed it grew a new freaking thyroid through meditation and thought alone i cannot believe that this is my reality i feel that your body is saying hmm get used to that get used to that get used to the feeling that you're going to be just so flabbergasted so <laughs> flabbergasted love the word um enamored by what you will be experiencing soon what you will be experiencing soon and they want me to leave it at that okay final message from your body please final message from your body please i'm here like it's like the movies you know it's like the movies this is something out of a movie self-care tend to your garden final note you know pamper yourself you know give you that love i know it's gonna be a lot of momentum using that yang force energy but we still gotta love upon our bodies you know i'm seeing like oil massaging your body before you sleep releasing helping the lymphatic system drain out anything that was tensed up in the day massage 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 that's that's an that's something that they want you to do or taking a bath taking a bath or a massage all right i'm gonna end this reading off right here pile number two i'm sending you so much love 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 hope you have a beautiful blessed day year in life comment down below where you're tuning in from of course subscribe if you like my vibe and i will see you very very soon bye bye hello pile number three so okay let's get into it you guys have chosen the world card and generally the feeling i get is that you want to be engulfed by your own world or at least your body does right now your body is ascending you to almost this <laughs> plane of escapism okay but it's not the type where you're trying to run away from your physical world no 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 it's more of like okay let's expand okay let's see what this truly means it's a diff it's a deepened understanding of the beauty and the pleasures that exist in the most mundane of things I feel like a lot of metaphors um, are being re revealed to you right now or anything that seemingly are separate and different makes harmonic sense and creates a narrative that you into you are the only one that intuitively knows what the hell is happening okay uh, to me that feels very abstract so let's roll you to some astrodice to see what else your body is trying to communicate to you right now but yeah so if you've been feeling a pull towards just the expansion of the imaginative faculties of the mind you guys could also be really loving um florence govashin or napoleon hill's work currently this is energetically your body's prepping you to energetically seed in manifestations that will in due time blossom in the physical okay you're you're having this true sense of like i'm the creator energy or surrounding you right now you could also have a lot of people like watching you either online but also like you know when you stroll down the streets and if you're seeing that you guys feel this magnetic pull and attraction um, towards your body or even just like people just eyeing you up and down or people like couldn't take their eyes off you it's because you guys right now what i'm seeing is this expansion of your energy field to be extremely electric and extremely magnetic it's heard as like purposeful <laughs> it's purposeful 
Okay, we got Aquarius. Let me double check this. And fourth house. Okay, it's Uranus. Really, really paired well with the Aquarius sign popping up, rocking up. So, um, your body is wanting you to... That's so interesting. If you have a pull to reorganize your home in a certain way that doesn't make sense, maybe even aesthetically a bit off, but it just might produce the right results again. Very ambiguous language I'm using. I do not get it, but this is what the message is coming through. You might get it. Do it, follow it, because that's going to unlock a new association with the energy that you that is emerging. And I feel, when I say emerging, energy that is emerging, spirit and your body, your guides aren't really showing me any visuals in my mind. Again, so it could be very abstract where only you are the ones that totally get it only you as a spirit as a soul who've lived multiple incarnations on this planet or external planets understand this skill understand this way of thinking understand this way of creating understand this way of living that me or any other souls will look at it and be like that's strange that's unconventional but for you it's the norm you know, it's a remembrance, fourth house, of past lives. It's a remembrance of past energies. It's a rem remembrance of past patterns that unlock certain gifts in you. That on the external looks plain Jane, maybe. Or on the external looks out of order. But it is in order. That is so freaking interesting. Oh my God, what a message. Okay, let's look at your tarot cards and see what else we can get from your body. So yeah, follow that. Let your body guide you to moving that chair, moving that, I don't know, wardrobe, um, selling that piece of clothing that is still new um that you haven't worn but it just makes sense to give it away because on an intuitive grander scale of things maybe someone out there is manifesting you specifically to give them that piece of clothing you know what i mean it's like so much bigger the world than you can even fathom on a human conscious level okay what other messages we get from pile number three's body please are you guys creatives? Are you guys artistic? Are you guys like predominantly right-brained? Because I feel that you guys move in that way. Like you move in a way where you don't even understand why you're doing it, but only when you were to connect the dots back, then you're like, oh, yeah, of course, that's building towards this. And you're mystified by your own experiences too. There is not really a plan. You try to plan, so that your conscious mind can truly grasp at least something to stabilize in. But in actual reality, there is no plan. You know what I mean? You move in that way. Nine of Cups in reverse. We got the Two of Swords in reverse. Let's play two more cards before we start reading. Your body right now is calling you to practice your intuition. That's another thing. So for example, if you're watching certain videos and um, yeah, it's a video of like, guess what color I'm thinking of. It's like one of those exercises. It's, you could be drawn to those kind of exercises. Um, telekinesis I'm hearing, another thing. Advancement in telekinesis. And the seven of pentacles in reverse. I just heard like nothing is ever lost when I'm looking at this card, the Five of Cups. Nothing is ever lost, only the things that belong to you will sustain and will forever be yours, okay, because you're a vibrational match to it. Those that are false illusions or an inauthentic part of you that have clinged on, a projection, etc. will be removed and discarded. I feel like your body is also 
showing me that you guys don't have an addictive tendency you guys don't have addictive behaviors you know when people talk about how oh yeah they can't get off the train of alcoholism or you know they're addicted to a certain drug i don't think that's the case for you pile number three i feel like on an energetic perspective on a bodily sensational perspective you move by intention so your body right now is also asking you to become very very good with setting intentions you could do that ever so often but your body wants you to wake up in the morning set a morning intention for the day um as you brush your teeth set an intention for your teeth to be pearly white you know using more of that gift of powerful intention setting because that's gonna invite in oh i'm hearing like dark feminine energy the dark feminine prepares the mind for a certain outcome to play out and you know how i said before that there was not really a plan or you don't really move by plan i think the only sustainable plan that you should and your body feels comfortable feels aligned to move with is through the plan of intention setting to the plan of mental boundaries once the mental boundary is created aka the masculine energy that you have within the yang then the flow can flow however it wants to go then creativity um, rearrangement can spark with these boundaries because if there is no boundaries there is too much freedom too much freedom feels restrictive feels anxiety ridden and you're not really going to get anywhere this is the paradox of life but again you guys move paradoxically <laughs> you guys move paradoxically i feel that also your body wants you to this is so interesting because you guys are almost like an experimentation by god of showing how like you guys are the representation of how to truly move in the way of the universe in the way of how the sun moves in the way of how the moon moves in the way of how constant change actually is expressed through human form so in a way you guys are your own lab rat they, the body wants you to write these all down, these unconventional ways of living because sooner or later you guys will be able to depict a certain pattern, a certain formula, a certain movement in your life that you can then share and let others know how to move in that way, okay? So for them to not be stuck in the ego mind, but for them to shift into 5D consciousness, you move in the way of 5D consciousness. And your body is saying like, okay, we don't really need to learn how to universally tap in. We just need you to be the conduit right now to write that series, to write that book, to write that educational knowledge that is unorthodox, that offers a new perspective of the human life because you're gonna make great shifts and change for others in that way. Very interesting. And it's so cool because usually when I read and tap into these cards and into any kind of reading, that there are links and specificity towards the, you know, what they artificially mean, each card, each deck. But I'm being intuitively guided to not even go by the rules of this deck. Go by the rules of the major arcana deck go by the rules of the rider way tarot deck it's just i'm just flowing with what is in front of me i'm not seeing clearly i feel like maybe you guys also have venus and pisces your body wants to give you a message saying that listening to other people's method of one two three four in order to obtain i don't know like wealth in order to obtain i don't know love of your life ain't gonna be the same for you and you intuitively know that you might be curious to watch it and ever so often sometimes you do get programmed and fall into 
trying to apply another person, another being's way of moving, but you are the minority. So again, your body wants you to be mindful of consuming other people's methods because come back to knowing thyself. Come back to being like, okay, that's cool. That exists. Most people move that way. But let me see. We got cut off there. But yeah, let's see how I move. Let's see how it contrasts. Because I know for a fact that there's a group of people out there that is just like me without a guidebook. So if I were to muster up this guidebook of how I move, and I'm my own experiment, then we can all relate. And that that smaller minority group of people will be able to ascend quicker too. I think that's also part of your purpose. Your body is revealing to you like your purpose and like why you are dealt with these set of cards instead of another. Why maybe sometimes in the past you weren't crowned as the academic type why you maybe even like mumble jumble up words maybe dyslexic i don't know maybe you have a quote-unquote disability but let's let's cut let's let's see it on an alternate perspective if you have a disability such as dyslexia and you can't read the book quote-unquote right what can you do you become extremely more creative, creatively focused. You become someone who could potentially read deeper into imagery. Because reading deeper into imagery, words, what words are limited, but pictures, ideas are worth more than a what, million words. I don't even know that phrase, but you get what I mean, pile number three. You're meant to walk a different way. You're meant to walk a different path. So harmonize, feel into your soul, feel into your body and just like love up on the fact that these cards were dealt in this unique fashion and unique way and understand that your intellect doesn't have to be the same as everyone else. It's not supposed to be. It's meant to be unique. It's meant to be different. Ooh, okay, let's pull you some of these oracle cards to see how you can connect in with your body even more. How you can connect in with your body even more. Pile number three. And pile number three, but magic. Magic. Understand that the world is so magical. This world we're living in, Earth plane, is so freaking magical. Yes, we can watch the movies, thinking Harry Potter or whatnot, that there's an alternate dimension where people wave their wands and then, you know, cast some spells. And damn, that is so freaking spectacular in relativity here. But I feel like your body is moving into this new perspective shift or at least right now you're feeling a pull to move into the perspective shift of seeing the magic in the mundane and falling deeper and deeper in love with your own life and the way you go about it. Thank you. We got movement. Mm. On a physical note, if you guys have been falling off on maintaining a healthy regimen, of physical exercise keep up with the exercise pile number three okay it doesn't have to be long you can literally just go for like a 20 minute walk get yourself out there breathe in some of that fresh prana fresh air can really help you tap back into your body even more okay i'm here i'm seeing like um relaxation of the neck rolling the neck could be quite tense right now so that's another thing move your neck stretch flexibility flexibility oh flexibility is a big one i'm feeling right now you know stretch your calves <laughs> stretch your hamstrings yeah it's gonna help with the movement the chi the flow again when your minor and major chakras are unblocked this creative magic flows so much more 
Last and final message for pile number three, please. I just heard like all of it. For the other two piles, I only took one out. But because I'm hearing all of it from your body, we're gonna take all of it. <laughs> so we got Discover. Look at the early dewdrops before they disappear with the morning sun. I'm seeing that in this time period, your body could be giving you so many intuitive hits and downloads that they really need you to bring out the pen and paper, write it down, and then put it out there in the world. We got generosity, sow seeds of kindness. How do you speak to yourself? How do you speak to yourself? How do you speak to others? Because usually the way we speak to others is way more loving and kind than to our own vessel. See your vessel as a baby. Oh my God, your body wants you to see it as a baby. And how are you going to speak to a baby? How are you gonna nurture a baby? How are you gonna touch a baby? How are you gonna coddle a baby? How are you gonna put the baby to sleep? See your body as a baby. Move, it's so, I'm, can I just say upon number three? Again, I'm not reading this literally. I'm giving you such unorthodox type messages, unique, Aquarius, Uranus, we, we love it. Move, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Again, doubling down on movement. Don't really need to expand there. I'm, I'm being shown like quick fingers playing the piano. I don't know what stats about, okay? So if you guys are being drawn back to reviving a certain musical talent gift, go ahead, this is a green light. Visiting the past, visiting the memories of the past. Um, maybe, for example, if you guys had a negative association with playing the piano because you had like some traumatic experiences with it, this could be the time period where your body is like, okay, it's time to integrate a new um, perspective with piano playing because it's nothing to do with the piano. It's just to do with the experience. It's just to do with the um, emotional attachment towards certain events. So let's move and let's create a new love for the piano. Okay. Persevere, leave no stones unturned. See what we get here, persevere and leave no stones unturned. I'm, I'm getting like the Ed Milet reference of, he likes to preach this thing called like one more. So if you're in the gym and you're doing three sets, add one more rep to each set. You know what I mean? Like push yourself, persevere. I feel like there is something in your body that wants to break free or wants to level up. And in order to level up, we can just add one more. So if you're gonna work for just 10 minutes, add one more minute, work for 11 minutes. If you want to, I don't know, eat for 30 minutes, add one more minute. Um, so eat for 31 minutes, okay? Maybe you want to slow down your eating. Anything like this. One more rule is something that is highlighted from your body. We got twilight. Surrender to the last hour where the light barely touches the flowers. I'm hearing the word resistant. I don't know what you are resisting. Maybe you're resisting... Oh, okay. I just hear like, it's like a residue of resistance towards letting go of someone else's methodology in living life. For example, if you have been studying for a very long time on uh, creating wealth for yourself and you see that there's a pattern, right? That everybody says to invest in an ISA, to do all of this, and it just seems to be like a common trend. But yet your body is saying, no, 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 we're going to move a different way. No, 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 we're not going to invest in an ISA. We're going to invest in, I don't know, a creative gift, a creative talent, uh, creating 
I don't know, creating a painting. We're gonna use that money to create a painting. We're gonna sell it and it's gonna create passive income. That will be your passive income stream instead of saving and having that grow over time. It just doesn't make sense, but that's the intuitive pull. Persevere and see the light of a alternate path because that might sit with your energy field so much better so much more well i know my english is like not the best but you get what i mean pile number three yeah and spirit also wants me to guide you to the story of like bob proctor he never went about making money in a conventional way yeah he understood the principles of you know having multiple streams yet he never really invested into stocks or bonds he didn't have your stereotypical investments you know he didn't play with real estate no all he did was use his creative faculties channeling from the divine and created streams of income from his writing his thought forms his creativity his way of life and that's it that was able to sustain him so it's possible so it's definitely possible again i'm not advising you to not <laughs> open up an isa or you know invest in stocks and bonds these are just examples take what resonates and leave the rest behind you know best and your body knows best and with that being said pile number three i hope you enjoyed your reading today i'm sending you so much love 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 have a beautiful blessed day year in life comment down below where you're tuning in from of course subscribe if you like my vibe and i will see you very very soon Bye bye